Hello everybody and welcome back to Purbeck Valley Farm. How are you doing today? Hopefully very well. So, yeah, we have on the back of here a trailer. And on that trailer we have a tractor. Can you guess what it is? It probably can do actually. There's a fair amount of it there to be uh, giving the clues away. Yes, of course, it is this tractor from FS15. And in fact, FS13 as well. So, yeah, it was converted a couple of weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago actually, and it is on ModHub, so I thought, great, we'll get it into the series because I know how lots of people are getting quite nostalgic with this map, bringing back those Naveswell 15 memories, so I thought, there's no better way than creating some mud holes with <laughs> with the, is it the Burr or the, the Burr? I'm not sure, I'm not great with, um, with pronunciations, but anyway, we're taking it back and we are going to create some mud holes later. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, well, uh, if you watch my sort of, I think it was called a nostalgic video or something, where we were looking at the mud holes on uh, on Naveswell. So I'm not going to recreate all of them, just some of them, just to, um, to bring back the mud. One place in particular is a place which I don't even own, so I'm not too sure if we're going to be able to dump the, uh, the the mud there, but we might be able to afford to buy those fields, field number 58, 59, the far left of the map. We will see. But first, yes, we must get those bells picked up, those straw bells from yesterday. We have three different uses for them. We need to put a few, and only a few, over at the cow farm. That is for the bedding to produce manure. Um, we then also need to put some at the placeable yard so we can create some pellets again not too many and then the rest will be sold I know I'm talking as if we have about 250 bales we actually only have about 55 but no it's fine um, I think probably 10 for this farm we'll probably sell about 20 30 ish the rest can be for pelleting anyway yeah there we go this is going to be good so yeah, we'll do the mud holes later, it will be in this episode, but I just want to do the uh, the straw pellets first and the straw bales first. Also, look at our corn. It's looking really good. I don't think we're going to do uh, silage. I think I'll probably harvest that with a combine harvester. But yeah, I haven't fully decided, just, just an idea. I have done quite a bit of silage recently on all of my videos, so... I think you can have too much of one thing. Okay, so I just need to get the tractor off the back and then we can load up all these bales onto the trailer. Not too sure what the capacity is. The only thing I can say is they won't all fit on one load. 30 bales. Yes, it's going to be two loads. Of course, uh, a big thank you to the creator of this, or the, the converter of this. I think it was converted and improved. So I'll put the link, the official link, down below. So that if you do want to download it for yourself, you'll be using the genuine link to support the modder. Okay, this is how you don't unload a tractor from a trailer, but it does work in FS. Right, so that can stay there. We are going to be fitting it to the, uh, the the grain trailer later. The one just over there. So operating position B, and they should auto load. There we go. Oh yeah, I did also go a bit crazy with the colour scheme. I think it looks quite good. The, the blue bed. It's interesting. I do like the black sort of onyx look, but uh, at the same time, it is nice to add a bit of colour. Right, so the first 30, I think, can go to... No, I think the first 30 can actually be split in half. It'd be much easier to unload them if they're all if it's if it's fully loaded. Because it is going to triple stack it, and if we only have enough to double stack it, it's going to make it harder to then unload them and put them in the shed. Hopefully they don't explode. 
Good. Okay. So they have just uh, unloaded to the trailer's bed. You can do that straight after loading it, because then you can strap them on. And it actually gives the trailer the correct weight. So, yeah, let's just try and get some of these. I have gone a little bit too far back, actually, but maybe I'll be able to get them. I just don't want to pick up six. <laughs> Imagine getting six. I don't think this trash would be able to do that, although it might in FS. Possibly. Okay. Yeah, it's quite tight. It is quite tight around here. But I think with a bit of perseverance, we will be able to get quite a few off here. Right. That's good. So all the hay bales are on the right. I think really I should have moved a few more across. But we only need to have one line of, of straw bales, so just here. It's fine. I think that was the hardest one to remove. Might be better off using the keyboard actually to, to steer. Um, otherwise you get quite a bit of noise, continuously steering very rapidly. So I'm just wondering how many we should actually take off. I think four. Four lots. Um, in total, that, that should be fine, so that'll be 12. Yeah, 12 should do it. After all, we do have more straw on the way. We have the oat field as well, so yeah, it's not like this is the only bit of straw that's going to be coming this year. I guess I could have time lapsed this, but it might have looked a bit crazy at speed. I do find that if you're going to do a lot of camera movements, it, it doesn't really turn out very well in the time lapse. In fact, it can make the viewers quite ill, <laughs> which I have done before, I think, because I've had several comments saying, "Oh, your time lapse moving further." That was a long time ago. That was before I realised about all the sudden camera movements. In fact, that was probably about three and a half years ago now. Okay, the final one, and then the rest can go over to the, uh, the place we are. They can be turned into, into pellets, and then we'll put the rest into the cell point. Which I think, actually, uh, is almost another full trailer. Impressive. But at least we'll make a bit of money. So you can see how neat it is. It's, it's much easier to make a nice, neat stack if it's been auto-loaded first. Unless you are a genius and you can do it anyway. Right, okay, so there we go. We have our straw in storage. Probably by the end of the oat harvest we'll have a complete line. Let's just put some straps over here. Don't need to go flying since they have now been unloaded. And now I have the fun of getting out. Well, I guess it's just going to be the reverse of how I got in. Which I've forgotten. How did I get in? <laughs> oh dear. Well, this should work. There we go. Right, so to the place we yard. Okay, so here we are. We have the skid steer, but I don't think that's going to be really worthwhile using that. So if I just restack these to the trailer, reload them, um, just remember how you do that. There we go. And then we can unload them again. And gradually, with the skid steer, we can pick them up and put them onto the uh, the processor. But I think that would be fine, the amount that we have there. I'm not looking to do thousands and thousands of pallets, just some, just so that we can say that we've done the straw pallets as well. So let's clear that field, and we'll get them taken over to the cell point. I'm not expecting a fortune here, but it's just going to boost the account a bit more.
I think again we'll just keep them on the trailer's bed. Let's open this door up. And we have to put them in here. It's the land of bales. So many bales. Okay, um, yeah, so if we just press Y twice and it will just unload them to the bed. Reverse it in. That's where reversing skills are <laughs> required. I have to try and find some. Uh, who put that little thing there? What do you call it? A pump trolley thing. Pump truck. I'm stuck on it. Right, okay. That's half of them. 12,844. There we go. Pretty good. Very good, actually. We have a hundred thousand pounds. No, should have approached at a better angle. We're free. Okay, so yeah, we're going to head back. We're going to go and give the cows some straw, as we now can do. Um, we don't have a bale shredder, but I think I can actually get away with putting it into the feed mixer, and that can sort of shred the bales. And then we can put it in the uh, the enclosure that way. Then we will feed some bales to the pelleter, and then. We're going to create some mud. I guess it would make sense if we go to the pelleting hall first since we're passing it. Don't know if I'll be feeding them all in now. We don't need to do them all. We'll just do a few. And I think I'm going to sell them the same way as I sold them before so we can actually get rid of that sell point over there. It worked quite effectively. And actually, since we're here with this trailer, we can load the uh, the pallets straight up onto here. Because despite it being uh, configured for square bells, you can still put any kind of pallets onto it. In fact, you can still put round bells onto it, you, you can't auto-stack with them. Okay, um, yeah, so let's jump into the Bobcat. As usual, these are here. I have been pulling them out by hand. And then I move them with the, uh, the skid steer. But as soon as the water and the manure has been consumed, I'm going to rotate these. And I don't mean by 180 degrees, I mean just by 90 degrees. So essentially the front and back would be that way and that way. Okay, let's get those moved. Quite a few. And now for the bales. Thing is, if I do start doing them all, I'm going to be here for quite some time. I need to set myself a limit. Let's just take this end half. We'll do these. How many are there? Six. Oh, of course, we have the JCB. Need to put the JCB on that, otherwise we're going to struggle to make any. There we go. It's ready to produce the pellets. Before I start the time lapse, we'll just make sure that it is going to work. I can't see any reason why it wouldn't do. Because these are the correct bales, and everything worked fine last time, so should be good. I do like this bobcat, I'm just not too sure if um, we should get another bobcat which might be heavier on the back. It does seem to find even this bale here extremely heavy. Maybe it's been updated, not too sure. Right, so that is feeding. So there shouldn't be any issues. As soon as I see pellets going into that hopper I'll be happy. There we go. In fact, we could do with being a little bit further back if that's possible. Yep, okay. Let's crack on.
sticky palettes. Okay, so yeah, it's always been a thing about FS. If you don't get it exactly right, they do like to get stuck. So I've just retrieved the bale which went behind the feed-in conveyor. That bale is about to be taken. We'll put the last one in. I've got carried away. I've put more in than I said I was going to. But that is fine. It gives us less work to do next time. Come on, eat the bale. Eat it. Thank you. So we have uh, this pallet here. There's probably going to be a couple more. Hmm, maybe one more. But I'm just really putting them on the trailer to store them. After all, I'm still going to do the delete and pay what it's worth approach. There we go. So yeah, we just wait for these two to shred and then we can take the final pallets. The bales have gone. So now just the pallets. The pallets do take a while to produce. To, to get stacked. Nothing in the hopper. It's all in here. So, yeah, I don't think there'll be another full one. This is probably the final full one. And then we're going to head off to the cows, give them the straw. Then it'll be mud time. Here it is. Yeah, oh, I've got stuck on it again. Oh, <laughs> this is getting worse. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, I moved quite a few pallets in real life, and it's it's pretty easy. Some things in the game are easier than real life. Other things are harder. Certainly the pallets. Okay, there we go. Done. Right, so over to the cow farm. Here we are. I've just realised we probably do have some total mix ration left in the feed mixer. If that is the case, we'll get that removed first. Probably a bit unnecessary taking three actually, since it's just bedding. Place them down there. And we'll drive through here and get it picked up. Thank you to everybody who uh, responded to my um, question yesterday about the bitrate. I did have many people respond saying that the bitrate was fine, so uh, that's great to know. Great to have it all clarified. Um, I don't think that's going to fit with the weight attached. It's empty. I just topped up their trough and yeah I don't think I need the weight if I'm just picking up a couple maybe even just one just need to put it in a decent place so there is actually space to manoeuvre that should be fine Squeeze through here. I'll put two in. Just in case, because you just don't know exactly how much they're going to require. I doubt they'll give... I doubt they'd want 8,000 litres, but I'm usually wrong. Right. I could put them all in, actually. Because it would just be the base of the, uh, the feed mixture. Anything which is left. Okay, right, so we are finally going to be producing manure, solid manure. It has by default been creating slurry, which we must have an awful lot of. How much slurry do we have? 115,000 litres. Oh, and also in the next episode we're going to sell the milk. We have 17, almost 18,000 litres. Pretty good. So 
we should see a load of straw appear, hopefully. Here he comes. Nice. And we are left with 8,496. So it didn't even take one bale. But, yeah, it, it's, it's fine. Uh, we can just dump some out in the shed and, and use some of it as the base for the feed mixture. So now, finally, we're going to drive the FS15 tractor. Looking forward to it. We should see straw, yeah. They took 3,504 litres. So I'm going to fit this to that trailer over there. We're not going to create the mud with water and dirt, which is going to automatically get mud. And then put it in some of the, the wet spots, the areas which I remember. As I said, placing it in the field which we don't own could be an issue. There's one place in particular that I want to put some mud, and I already know that it will definitely work there, so that is good. But we will try it. I seriously doubt it's going to work in the uh, the other field. Mud. Yay. Look at that. Yeah, so I don't think many people would just carry around a completely full trailer of essentially sloppy mud. Unless they were trying to clear some area. It's the first time I've been properly on the inside of this uh, tractor. Yeah, it really has been just converted over. And also, <laughs> this is top speed with that heavy load. The train weight is 18.8 .8 tonnes. The tractor itself is 3.7. I think we'll just empty it for now. Uh, we might never get there. So the entrance is just here. This is probably one of my favourite areas on the map. Kind of annoyed that I didn't buy this area earlier. I want to. I don't know how much these fields cost. Ah, oh, you've got to buy them all. 141. Not unreasonable, actually. That's not too bad. But I'm not wanting to put mud here to block the river, or the stream, just to sort of get stuck. Sounds crazy, but it just makes it much more challenging. So, <laughs> let's just see. I don't want to dump loads of mud, and I probably won't be able to dump any, but just a bit. Yeah, that was my concern. I've had an idea, I'm not too sure if it'll work. If we buy the field, dump it, and sell the field, will that work? Okay, I need to be careful. I don't want to dump loads. Gotta be really careful here. Mighty diff lock. So you just gotta keep dumping a little bit every now and then. Although we are stuck. Might need a bit of a run up. Oh, you can see the mud texture now. The mud effect, sorry. Come on, little tractor, you can do it. Well, we'll tip it again. Now it's going backwards. Okay, so I've emptied the trailer but not on the ground, so I'm going to have to refill it and then dump a bit more. As we approach from this angle, of course, we now have the mud to get stuck in. Oh, look at that, it was slipping sideways. Brilliant. And again, the link for the mud is down below. A huge thank you to Viper, the creator of it. Oh, don't want to go too much. And the final piece, fill in that middle piece. There we go. Okay, so it might spread around a bit anyway. Just empty that. And we'll drive through it and see what it's like. If we do it at speed, we might be able to make a big splash. Oh yes, so we have diff lock on, we have four wheel drive on, we're going to turn all that off. That's two wheel drive only. This is four wheel drive. Oh yeah, we're flicking that mud. And diff lock. 
Okay, I've already dug a hole. There we go. Brilliant. Good. So now the, the, the riverbank is not just firm. It does have some uh, muddiness to it. A bigger tractor would be absolutely fine with that, I'm sure. Because it's not deep. It just now has the effect. That's great. That is really good. See, so if I now sell the field, because I did cheat the money, I need to return that money. Does it stay? Is it, is it usable? It is. Brilliant. Oh, lots of mud. All right, okay, 141,278. There we go. So now for the other place where we need to have mud, and that is near the cows. Now it's all muddy. Even on the inside. What a mucky thing. <laughs> Look at that, the mud has just been applied to everything. Nothing like a bit of tractor mudding. I can remember creating the thumbnail for the video when I actually got stuck in this place. In this next place. I'll have to try and find it. See if I can replicate the thumbnail for this video. Although it will be a different tractor, because it was not this tractor. But you get the idea. This is it. You see like a low point, muddy hole. We'll refill that. No, we'll refill this with mud. This should be easier. Should be. What do you mean I don't have access? I'm sure I own it. Oh, he's right on the limit. Look at that. Right on the limit. Okay, well, we'll do the same thing again. Yes, remembering that this is the place where I said I can guarantee that we own it. Yes. <laughs> I can guarantee that I want it. Here we go. This is going to require a bit more mud. It's deeper. It's going to actually be a deep hole that you can get stuck in. Is that enough? I think that would do. doesn't want to be too deep, because otherwise you might never get out. I do want to own these grass fields though, I want to buy them. If this is going to be deep, we're going to get stuck. Oh yes. Very stuck. So if you want to be entering this field, you're going to have to have a bigger tractor, bigger wheels. But I just thought, yeah, that'd be good. Having uh, some actual mud in the muddy areas. Obviously you wouldn't just drive straight through it, you'd have to go around it if you didn't want to get stuck. But that'd be good fun, because there is also a chain mod, and we can pull them out with chains. That'll be coming in a future video. But as for today, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, and until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.